calling in all of my Aquarius. Hola, hola. Happy Libra season. When you see this, it's October. Thank you for trusting in my magic, for allowing me to connect with you on a deeper level. My name is Edith. Mi nombre es Edith. Hablo Español. I am a psychic, intuitive, medium, Reiki master, and many more things. I am also the owner of Earth Crystals Con Amor, my crystal shop. I thank you for allowing me to sit down to bring you this guidance, this clarity, these messages that you're ready to receive. Something chose, something picked you, pushed you to click on this video and to allow yourself to receive the messages that are meant for you. I trust and know my guides are using me as this vessel, as this portal to bring you the guidance that you're needing to hear. So trust the messages that are for you. Aquarius, I feel like we're already starting to celebrate you um, because of a celebration that's happening in the month of October. So let's call it in. Um, if you're interested in something more private, booking a private reading, you can only do that through my website at earthcrystalsconamor.com. I also host Instagram live cells on my Instagram under earthcrystalsconamor, um, usually Thursday, Friday nights. Um, and I also do circles, like in-person circles. I am a healer and I love connecting with my tribe. Women empowerment, women healing, womb healing, all of that calls me. So if you are called to work with me more one-on-one, -on -one, that calls me. And thank you for trusting in me for allowing me to be here. I haven't done Zodiac sign readings for the entire month in a bit. I took a break, but I'm back and I'm grateful. I don't know for how long I'm going to do them, but here we go. Aquarius, let's call you in your higher self, your future self. Because I keep seeing you, like my guides keep moving the calendar. So I already know, and even how I see many of you, it's like, like breathing, like just feeling like, oh my God, I didn't know I was going to be here. Like I didn't know that it was not gonna take this long like thank you thank you like you're feeling very like your energy aquarius i feel you very in your essence oh and by the way this is for sun moon or rising aquarius depending on your birth chart um you'll know what your uh, moon sign rising um and you can find all that online usually the website i like is like astrology.com um i'm not an astrologer myself so i can't really guide you with more sites but do your research there's something online something that will help you but your higher self, I feel like in the month of October, he or she, however you identify, is here to say like, hey, you know, remember in the last three months how you were overwhelming yourself, how you were thinking you wouldn't get here and look at what you've accomplished. So whatever it is that you've been able to accomplish, like let's celebrate that. Let's be in that energy of you're worthy of much more. I feel like for many of you, this is also like a message from your higher self in the month of October of saying, okay, okay, let's not get comfortable because we got other plans to do. I don't know if you can hear the background, but there is a ambulance to me. Each time I hear it in my readings, I'll hear different messages. But for you, as soon as I felt the energy and heard the ambulance in the background, it's like your guides are saying, okay, it's like we're about to get you on a fast lane. Don't, don't get nervous, but you're ready for more. This year, for many of you, Aquarius 2022 has been a year of a lot, a lot of personal growth. So don't limit yourself. Don't stay in this place or in this energy of, oh, this is who I'm meant to be. No, you're meant to do many more things. You're meant to evolve in ways that you don't even see it yet, but you're going to get there. Trust yourself. Many of you that you're also questioning, like, what is my purpose? What is my next career move? Have you given yourself, like, I feel like your guides are calling you in. Sorry, let me fix my shirt. I feel like your guides are calling you in and saying like, wait, wait, wait. Have you even given yourself the opportunity to try something different? Or you're just staying in the same place where you're just comfortable? Because comfortable is not going to get you to a place of growth. Comfortable is not going to get you to a place that you will be in your passion. They'll keep you in a place where you just nine to five and not just having a nine to five but just keeping you in a place where you like rhythm where you like consistency and that's not what your soul is asking for a lot of the aquariuses that i know and i remember in one of my astrology classes that i took even though i'm not like an astrologer 100 percent, but i've taken astrology classes before and i remember one of my astrology class um i believe my mentor was an aquarius is an aquarius and i remember her saying something along the lines like aquarius is one of the most misunderstood zodiac signs because they're so in their head at times so unique but yet they're very creative when they're allowed to be in their element so something called me to share that with you you can be very creative when you are in your element and that means when you feel 
that you're being supported when you feel and not just by others by the universe by your guides many of you you've been going through an awakening in the last six months to push you and whoever this new spirit guide is that is pushing you at the moment they're here to tell you okay let's continue to grow let's see what that's the bottom of the bottom of the deck change <laughs> ah yes change growth you're ready for more don't limit yourself Look at the orange color, our sacral chakra, that creative side that is trying to come out. And I don't want you to focus on chakras. I don't want you to focus on anything specific. I want you to focus on you, your journey. Let me ask you right now, right now, are you living in your essence? And if you're saying no, what can we do? It doesn't have to be a drastic change, but what, what little change can you incorporate in your life right now to start doing more things that can push you? To get into what you want to become and i'm gonna be honest for many of you you haven't ever given yourself the opportunity because of many circumstances life responsibilities family a lot of your inner child healing that you're doing now in your present it, it hasn't allowed you to get out in another place but that doesn't mean you can't evolve that doesn't mean you can't trust yourself you got the indecision and balance and it's a lot of purple purple our energy of our purpose indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of life trust yourself as soon as i said that your guide said just because you've fallen it doesn't mean you're wrong it doesn't mean you can't get back up just because other people don't have your same view your same vision it doesn't mean you won't you got balance i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment that's right Judging yourself because you're not where you are is not going to help you. Putting yourself in a place where you think I can't do it all will not help you grow. When was the last time you really got uncomfortable by making a decision, by juggling a little bit more than one thing? It doesn't mean you need to put all these things in your plate, but what can you do to step out of your comfort zone? For many of you, my Aquarius is like, I feel like the month of October, it's like a month of planning, a month of how do I see myself in the next six months? It's like, I told my guys, wait, why not within a year? And they're like, no, no, little by little, let's not overwhelm them. Maybe you have been feeling overwhelmed. And I feel like this is your message also to say like, being overwhelmed at times, it's like we, we, we put this pressure on ourselves where we think we can't do certain things. Don't let yourself get into that energy of I can't do this or already quitting before starting. No, believe in yourself. I keep hearing a bird chirping in the window. Like they're not physically here, but I can hear them, right? And I feel like that message for you guys, it's like your guide saying, hey, you're not alone. Hey, we're guiding you. For many of you, I feel like it's like an investment you're doing on yourself financially. And, and whether it's a course, going back to college, taking a trip, you're doing something to start making space to dreaming big, to making space to believing in yourself. So have an open mind. I feel like the end of this year for you, October, November, and December, these last three months of 2022, it's not going to be slow because I feel like you've been feeling like a lot of the other months were like oh, a drag. They're not going to be slow. So enjoy any little quiet time you're having right now because you're about to be go, go, go. And in a good way, you you are a manifester, believe it or not. I feel like your guides are saying, ask them, what have they manifested that they never thought they could manifest? And how were they really feeling when they manifested that? Because I feel like more will come out of it. Regret. What are we holding on to? I keep talking. Yeah, I feel like I keep talking to a future version of you. But now this younger version of you showed up when I said the regret. Why are you putting yourself in this place of the past? Why are you so hard on yourself at times that you don't even let yourself move forward? Forgive yourself. And forgiving ourselves and forgiving others, it sets us free from holding on to that anger, that grudge. But if right now, this healing journey that you're going through, it's coming with anger, feel it. But find a way to describe it. Find a way, an outlet, a way to get it out. Don't hold it in. And if you're needing support, help by others, then ask for it. But don't sit with it. I know that I cannot change the past. That's right. You cannot and you will not change the past. Even if we had the ability to do this, how would we be living? 
Look at the lessons that you've achieved and many things that you've done in your life. Not even just this year, but two years ago. For many of you, when I see you guys in 2020, you were just in a very lost place in your life. You were in a very uncertain place in your life. And we might not be where we want to be or exactly where we thought we would be, but you're in a better place. So give yourself credit for that. Bottom of the deck here, imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Mm. Believing in who you are, believing in who you can become, believing in the version of you that's about to rise. Like that phoenix rising. Work on your sacral chakra. Um, I feel like you can light an orange candle. You can also do an offering uh, to Mother Earth in the water element. The water is represented by our sacral chakra. So connect with it. There's many things online you can search to read about it. Um, there's many, not just like physical things or financial things, but many things you can also do if you're like, you know, I can't travel to a uh, water element, uh, like the ocean, the beach, a river. I can't. Um, buy myself a candle okay well there's meditations you can do online free on youtube there's many things on youtube like exercises to open up your sacral chakra so do your research i trust that you can find something just the whole intention and why is it important to tap into that energy because that's going to get you out of your comfort zone that's going to get you in this energy of planning of dreaming of moving forward and that's what your guides are pushing you for, Aquarius. I want to end your reading with an affirmation card. Thank you again for trusting in my magic. Let's see my Aquarius soul's connection. I love these. These can be very silly. So let me read it. It says, I'm connected to the multitudes and I can access their support at any time. That's your ancestors. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Literally, like, I feel like small talk for everybody is the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on witty banter about weather related stuff. <laughs> I love that. The camera might be backwards so you can't see it exactly. But I love the energy of this card. Community, surrounding yourself by others that want to see you grow and evolve. And surrounding yourself by people that want to also support you. And don't be scared to invest in yourself. Don't be scared to get out of your comfort zone. That's going to get you to a different place. I see the angel number 1212 a lot for you guys. So you might have been seeing it. You might start to see it. Trust yourself. Thank you again. Have an amazing month of October. Blessings.